previously on Stuff of Legends. So you you know where these missing villagers are then? They might not be as they were, but death mm. might not be where they stand. Okay, well, so they're not dead, but they're frogs or some Charging out of the shadows. Oh my gosh come these humanoid boars. I know you are the transformed villagers and we're here to save you or or die. The floor under you opens up and you fall through. No, I'm falling into a trap door? Yeah. <laughs> no. How you doing, my friends? Joven Shire here, and we've got some more stuff of legends for you. Not just more, but the epic finale. We are here at the end of our story. Our hero's here with us. I think it might be safe to say that you do have the stuff of legends. Aww. But we will prove it yes. by the end of this episode. So you guys at home know what's happening. Because for some reason, you missed it the last five weeks. We're playing Dungeons and Dragons. It's got a fluffy twist because we've got puppets doing all the action and doing all the fun dialogue here. But we have a wonderful cast of characters that are on this heroic journey. Majelica. Yeah how far we've come. Breaking out of your, your little uh, mage school, you stolen scrolls out to prove yourself to help the city of Waterdeep. Where are you now? Everything's been going so well and I was on a confidence high, but now I got the sads because we lost our pirate. You did? And I'm starting to question, maybe the whole thing was a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't have run off and t totally defied my wizard teacher and just gone off on my own thinking I was all high and mighty and now we lost our friend and I'm, I got the sad. If, if you lose your pirate friend, what is your father, Professor Flum? No, nope. Professor Plum. No, no relation. relation. What is he gonna think of you if, if you've lost uh, one of your, your partners? It's just gonna confirm everything he's always said about me. You know, you're just a burnout and you, and you don't listen and you're a wuss and you steal stuff. Which, why would he say that? What? Just because I stole some scrolls, you know? Yeah, that's a mean so professor, mean. Dan. All right. Uh, Slippy. Yeah, well, you know, things are going pretty well for me. I got 12 health, I'm feeling pretty fine. She <laughs> saved me twice in the last she one. She has. Yes, but unfortunately, our, yeah, she's right. Our pirate, well, our, our pirate friend fell into God knows where. We don't know where he went. I'm trying to go back for a dagger. There's a door closing. These two ladies are running off without me. I think I'm gonna get locked out in the cold and I'm gonna have to eat myself to stay alive. That, you're gonna eat yourself to stay alive? You think that that is an option for you and your people? The, is that something the Kotoa would do? Hey, pickings are slim. I got nothing else I want. I'm gonna eat <laughs> one of these potions. And and you you were off to get your dagger. Yeah. And that's when you tripped the trap. And yet your pirate friend waited for you to cross the threshold before going in. And well, that's why he took the tumble and not you. I, I actually, I think I probably bounced off of him as he was falling. <laughs> Who would have thought a pirate would save a fish's life? Uh, Shauna, we saw the rage. Literally and, and figuratively. Consume. Yeah, consume you uh, her. you fought some uh, werewolves, but you've got, I feel like successful. you've come away. Yeah, you started off with more of like a diplomatic air about you, but now it feels like, you know, you've got your great axe and it's, it's been pretty great. You see, the thing is, I'd never had family mm -hmm. until oh. these guys. But you ain't even here right now. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> You're here right You're here in spirit. Mm -hmm. And I tried to rise to be like them. That's not who I am. Oh, wait, what? At all. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Left turn. It's the earrings are coming off. Like, I, I just, I, 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 had right. to, I had to go there. I think we're all missing Hatchet Hand a lot is what we're trying to say. Yes. We all miss some. We feel that absence. Speaking yeah. of which, Hatchet yeah. Hand, you're over there, you, up to this point. You started off uh, uh, a sealess pirate. He's the boldest pirate on land. He's a real <laughs> fish out of water. <laughs> From where you were in Waterdeep to where you are now, do you feel like your character has grown? I do, I do. I feel like I've developed a sense of camaraderie. Let me just say, when you said we were going to Waterdeep, and I made a pirate character, was expecting more water. <laughs> uh, it's been a very dry adventure. Uh, he's come from a guy who just wants to captain a ship to a guy that does kind of want to be part of a family. Camaraderie with Majelica because she stole those spells, almost pillaged them, as a pirate would do. Yeah. I feel there's something special there. Slippy, 
Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> you caused me to fall through a trap door. All right, so before we jump into the rest of our adventure, I do want to say that yes, we are playing a game of Dungeons and Dragons here today. I have modified the rules. That's a little more story based. We're here to have a good time because that's what D and D is all about. If you are wondering how are they playing this game, I don't know how to follow. Every time one of these players wants to do something, they roll a D twenty. One through twenty, they get a random number. They add some bonuses to it, and then I compare it to what I have on my side. And depending on how well they do, will show us what their success looks like. Sometimes they're able to hit something, sometimes they're not. When it's laser corn trying to hit something, normally it's a knock. And with that, it is time to not only continue, but to conclude the stuff of legends. This is it? This is it. Hatchet Hand, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing for me. Roll for animal handling. 15. Okay. Can you mark that down? You wait six episodes to be able to roll a <laughs> dice. It's 16 minus one. I had some rolls, they were useless. The three of you, you're making it through. Slippy, you make it up to them. Yes. There's yes. information that the two of you in character do not know yet. Continue your conversation. We're in this dark room now, right? Where uh, there, it's not dark. There's like like tall windows, uh, like okay. towards like the, the height of of this hallway that you're through. And again, that same dusty light is kind of breaking through. You can see it's just a hallway up to an ornate door at the other end. Ladies, ladies, ladies! Wait, I, I got oh, some hey, news. Hey, hey, I'm you good. I'm good. Dagger. I know. I'm still at a twelve. Look at me. A guy's pirate done fell through the crack and now hatchet hand. I don't know where he is, he's in a black hole somewhere. We gotta go down and save him. Please. Hatchet hand, mommy? Yes. <laughs> no. You, your mom has fallen down a black hole. I don't know if he hit the bottom yet, but uh, we don't got him anymore. So what's the plan, ladies? But, but we gotta find where he is, so bang it. When the door was closing, there was a hole that opened where the door, and the, he fell straight, it opened up, swallowed him like a bug. And now, uh, now he's, so we can, I don't know, we got any rope that we can hang down down there, we can call for him. As described, that door did close behind you. Okay, so we need to find another hole. What's at the end of the hallway? Another doorway? Uh, there's an ornate door at the other end. There's only one way to go. Are we just gonna leave our mommy? No, we're <laughs> still gonna try to save him. We just have to find an alternate method. We need to just find a, a new route to get to mama. Yeah. We got this, all right? All right, here we go. Oh, and if it doesn't work out, I made a poison. Let's just do a group hug. <laughs> As you choose to go down this path, uh, do you guys have any specific order that you're walking? You're a little bit more distressed. Is there a, speti uh, a particular order? I I'm looking in? back, alert, yearningly. I want okay. I want to go back so and save my mom. So you're a slower, so you're in the so back I, I think the I'm probably at the back. Okay. Um, our, our, our now newly confident mage, where, where do you kind of stand? Like, what is your, your presence? What is your mindset as you walk forward? I think I'm gonna lead. You're gonna lead? Yeah. Okay. We're all a little bit injured. None of us are 100%, but. And I wanna be in the middle because I don't have to pay attention as much. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, as you walk up to this ornate door, uh, it, it has a, a long handle on it. Uh, do you open the door? Maybe We're not. gonna open the door. Let's yeah. Open the door. Okay. You, you open it. it, the door opens uh, yeah. almost too easily. Like, oh. Uh, oh. someone's been through this door before. Almost as if someone didn't expect for anyone to make it this far. Mm. You're walking down the steps. It's kind of like this big throne room, uh, but okay. not really with a throne. You see like this clearing in the center and it's more of where uh, like a head alchemist would have would have done like their most intense work. Uh, and you see these these chambers on the side and, and uh, different animals, different beasts, different people are in these chambers in alive? this alchemist's life. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. 15 plus two, 17. 17? Uh, so they're in this fluid. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you, can, you can kind of see through, so it doesn't look dead, it's not decomposing, it's just okay. there. There's about, uh, there's like three humanoids and some beasts. And, and you hear someone uh, in the center at like this big alchemist table. Uh, definitely the stuff that you see on the sides does not re resemble uh, alchemist's magic. This is something different. Uh, and you hear rustling and working as you hear in the distance, what? Why are you here? How are you here? As you look up and you see right at his desk, Fen Rafa. <gasps> I knew it! Alive. That lizardy The bounty hunter should have Tied up all the final loose ends. How dare you come across my laboratory? Why would you send He's... us on this quest just to just to try to kill us? That wasn't nice. This was a trap. He's gonna start putting us in those tanks and start diddling our holes and wires and ah. until we're one of those boar things that came flying out of his office. I assume that the boars are no longer living. <sighs> you assumed correctly, ma'am. Damn, Skippy. All I needed you to do was find the bounty hunter and then. Die! Clear my name, clear the city's name, and that was it. 
Nope, now you're here. Fantastic. Yes, here in Waterdeep, I've spent the last few weeks finding a way to combine human DNA with the creatures around us to find a new nature. It has taken me ages, centuries to perfect this magic. And you are just here to destroy it one of my babies at a time. How dare you? So were those the villagers that tried to attack us? Was that one of the villagers that tried to attack us? Duh. You've made it this far, but that is as far as you're going to come. Perception check from... No one tells me how far I come. I mean... <laughs> 17. You actually do hear from the right side this gate that is kind of rising up, running out of it. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. See, maybe, see. <laughs> it's an owl face on the giant bear body. And you've got <gasps> the Fenrafa over there. Behold, my most precious child, the ferocity and hunter owl, the mind of that bird attached to the intensity of a bear. <laughs> It is going to be your doom. But as that is said, we hear galloping from beyond him. Oh, another In one. comes a wild boar Wait, being no. ridden by Hatchet Hand himself. Ah! 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 Yes! Ben Rafa's screwed. I'm back. <laughs> what, what is, what's going on here? Ben Rafa, what, what are you doing? How are you still alive? Just Die! It was you all along? There's a whole exposition of a story. I, 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 yes, yeah, we've already been it. through this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what is that thing? That is my ferocious owl bear. Oh, those already exist. But yes, I've I know. seen them before. I've created it, and you've seen it here in front of you. I've, I've made an owl bear. No, no, they're wandering around the forest by where I live. It, oh, it's getting me to where you live because it's here. I've made it for the first time. No, I mean maybe you made this one, but they already existed. What? If you made like a, a cat and then like a, a wolf and put them together and made a dog, you, you made a dog, but dogs already exist. Oh. <laughs> Enough of this! Ow! Attack! The boar that you rode in on it looks much like the boars from earlier, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have that same uh, ferocity that the other ones had. Mm -hmm. This one actually kind of kicks you up and you land on your feet, and as it, it then rides over and pins down Finrafa, so he's yeah. not going anywhere. Yeah! Yeah! That's right. That's Good right. work, Bori Manilo. That's what I named him. Bori Manilo? Bori Manilo. <laughs> okay. And with that, we, and for the last time, roll for initiative. Yay! Yeah! 13. 11. 10 versus 13. This is a 7 plus So two thirteens. Yeah. Let me get a recap of life as this starts. Who has what amount of life? You have one <laughs> no. potion. I'm at a 6 out of 12. Uh, 12 out of 17, or 12 out of 14. 8 out of 21. 5 out of 20, because you've yeah. been picking on me. Yeah, yes. suck it! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die! <laughs> You're so weak! Wait, do you, oh, that's right, because you never got the chance to use your second win. I'm, I'm gonna use it. As the owl slowly turns at you. No, no, no! Uh, uh, I shouldn't have said anything! Yeah. As this encounter begins, the owl bear gives out this this ferocious screech. And you know, it, it's what an owl would sound like, but like it's bellowing from this deep, giant bear body. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. That sounds good. And now all four of us need a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> so what's fun about a final battle, this is a very quick and modified owl bear. Uh, it's not like one that you'd see in nature. This was made in the laboratory and it's a little bit faster than you would want it to be. Mm -hmm. And it is going to be able to go uh, right now. I feel like you're making things up. <laughs> this whole time! <laughs> As it rides, rides up to the first one, uh, it's going to uh, peck at you. So, the first one is 11 plus 10. Uh, that'd be seven total damage. Jeez. Mother of so the living you're lord. Uh, Slippy, you're up next. All bear right. is engaged. By the way, why does it have an owl head? What does that add? I, I get the bear body, but why the owl? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it, 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 you know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and disable one of his legs. Ooh, will you do it naked so that I get one last look before you die? I, uh, <laughs> I wanna get behind it and take out one dagger, Achilles, other dagger, back of the knee. You are jumping all the way over him, landing behind him, and you're gonna multi-attack with your two daggers. I'm gonna give you backstab advantage. Here, okay. Go for it. Five, uh, 15. All right, that is a hit. hit. <clears throat> now roll for damage. Seven. Uh, seven, and then go ahead and add backstab. your backstab, which is a And then you put poison oh, on him too? Poison oh. was used. Uh, six. What? Oh, so you roll a six, yeah. On top of your seven? Yeah, on top of the seven. Damage. That's what you get. This is your uh, day is gonna be horrible with a capital W. Thirteen damage with one strike. Not bad. You do get a second one. 
two. That isn't as good, but not a one. You didn't stab a friend or yourself. I'm no pirate. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know you are. You're way better than that. Yeah. Just going lower Sorry. and lower on my list of people I like. It's the me. Me and Bori could have left. <laughs> could have rode into the sunset happily. We came back to save you, and this is the thanks I get. Uh, hatchet. Okay, I would like to run half the distance. I look like I have a little bit of a higher vantage point you do. here. You do. Yeah. I'm gonna cock it again. Ha! Load the bolt in, and let's take the shot. Okay, 11. By any chances, your crossbow, four. uh, Michael. Bolton? Oh, ah, <laughs> crossbow. Yes. 15. That's a hit. It's a hit! That's a nice. hit. Nice! Yeah. Three plus two, five damage. Five damage, all right. And for my bonus action, I would like to second wind. 1d10 plus two. You're never gonna keep me down because that is a seven. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Plus two is nine. So I gain nine health and I go back up to 14. And that is my turn. You are, you're looking pretty dead. You're looking pretty dead. Uh, but I just got stabbed from behind. So my owl bear, with a swiftness that should not come from a bear, uh, like uh. almost jumps and lands facing you now. Shit. And attacks you first. <laughs> Perfect reaction. I made uh, another mistake. <laughs> with its beak, plus 10 to my attack. Uh, that would be 21. I think I got you. That was nine damage, sir. That's okay, because I'm at 12. Multi-attack. I got a little too cocky. <laughs> 12, did I get you? Nope. No! 14! <laughs> <laughs> you survived that one. Just and two. so that was the bear's second attack. Now Majelica gets to go. So I did not skip over you. The bear is a little swift. Mm -hmm. Almost yeah. the swiftness of... Taylor. An owl. An owl. Oh, Taylor's better. <laughs> Taylor would be better. Majelica. So I'm scared. You should be. And I'm looking around, and I'm looking at my friends in this impossible situation. I'm starting to doubt myself. This is bad. This is really bad, you guys. And I take a breath, and I remember who I am. I'm Majelica Plum, and I have family. I have a father, Professor Plum. No, no, no relation. relation. That's not family. You guys are my family. <laughs> yeah, fuck your dad. Yeah, screw <laughs> him. Ariola Borealis, you need to learn what it's like to have a real family. I feel in my pockets and I pull out my last potion and I want to run and slide and give it to you. Can I do uh, that? Fen Rafa rolls his eyes. What are these? You had to roll for that? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be your run and free action to toss it to her. Yeah, I'll give it. You run up here, you're next to her. Because your uh, initiative roll was so low, Great. you will be able to have an action after this. So you hand it off to her successfully. I'm going for a scroll. Oh, we were going scroll. It's scroll time. Scroll time. Scroll time. Yeah. 17. Cure light wounds. Wait, cure light wounds. Cure light wounds. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> touch a character, heal them for one D8 And you're plus next two to the character. Hit points. Ah! <laughs> oh the heals. I never saw this. I thought I was gone. This is I was saying my goodbye. <laughs> I have to roll, heal them for one D8 plus two. It's a seven. Woo! Nine. Nine. Nine health. Okay, so I'm back to ten. Thank you. I love you. Nice. And guess who goes next? Me! Yeah. yeah. You got this. You will roll a d6 for the potion. A d6, okay. Yeah. Five. Okay, you heal an additional so five. So now at 15. I can breathe. Let's rage out. Uh, Get mad, girl. Because this mad. is big and mean and to be quite honest, disproportionate. And it throws me off. <laughs> that teeny tiny head with that big old bear body, like it does, it's not a cute look. Okay, so let's singe the shit out of this. You haven't used your dragon breath yet. I have not used my dragon breath while in range. All right, here we go. Uh, dexterity save? Yes. It's a four. Okay, so ah! four. So four fire four damage. Four fire damage, and then with the rate plus two. All right, so you so got me for six, six damage. Mm. Fire's gone. I thought my fire would burn you more. Six damage is a lot of damage. Don't, that, that is half of what you could have yeah. rolled. You could have done a lot worse. That's true. That was a good attack. But my family came to save me and yeah. I wanted to save them. Oh, it's, we ain't done well, yet. Well, for what it's yet. worth, you were the last one to attack the bear. Also, now it's my turn. Okay. And the bear, that same ferocity, jumps up. Some beak damage on him. Takes a, takes a hit. 13? 13 is my armor class. Look at that. Tide goes to the attacker. Look at that. And you were taking four damage. We still did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Slippy, you're yes. up, and uh, Bear is not facing you. This big old owl bear is looking like. Uh, but then you just see these fire just kind of like burst from its sides. Yeah. 
uh, as the bear that, uh, then jumps and faces away from you as right. you now take your turn, sir. Right, right, right. So uh, I think I just want to, uh, I would like to climb up his back with my daggers. So yeah. you want to jump in, you want to stab him and hold on to your daggers is what you're saying. I'm going to rub him between my legs, between my crack, between my pits. <laughs> All right. Get well, that's him where the sopping. Worst it is. All, All right. the worst yeah. right here. Yeah, it's yeah. nasty. Oh, it's Always great. So uh, yeah, I'll do, let me roll, let me, let me see how, how well I do here. Yeah. Uh, we got nine plus 14. 14 breaks, yeah, you got it. Two plus uh, three, five. Five in this first attack, I'm also gonna give you uh, your backstab. Backstab. Two. Okay, yeah. so, so that's seven total. All right. And wasn't there poison? Oh, uh, there's oh yeah, give me another D4 of damage. D4. D4. One, one more, so what was the total? Eight. Uh, okay, and the, the total is eight? Yeah. yeah. All right, eight damage with the poison. Uh, that was one of the daggers. As you jump in the air with your giant uh, fish legs, get you through the air, you propel through one dagger, sinks wait, wait, fish in. Fish legs? Fish legs. Yeah, fish don't have legs. <laughs> so one sinks in. Show me how that other dagger goes. Roll that d20. All right, all right. It's uh, 11. Oh, 11 total. That was a miss. Uh, I'm going to give you an, uh, an acrobatics check here. Okay. 12. Against my saving throw. Uh, you're currently on me. Ha! You that, are currently on me. Yes. So uh, you're, you're holding die to this, but that being your turn, Hatchet, you're up. Can I get the rest of the way to that owlbear? Uh, it's it's still a little far from you. Same thing then, move up again, and then I want to move up more, pack the crossbow, <laughs> and take another crossbow shot at this guy. All right, take that shot. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think roll? this is possible. Did you this roll a one? He's a trick die. No. This is the one, people. This is the one. Oh. You, you got him. You got the crossbow there. You aim in your sights. And uh, as you shoot, uh, because he just got stabbed, he kind of like kicks up a little bit. And as your bolt is flying through the air, Kotoa no. here no. kind of like shoots no. up because he's like a bucking bronco. No. no. Roll your attack again against oh, his AC. Come on. Six. Oh, now plus, it's not a one. Six plus four with the crossbow is a 10. Oh wait, that's armor? 14. 14. Di didn't even get me, bro. We good. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is. Three times! But you Three got times! You oh, I'm sorry, the dice not coming up the way you want. <laughs> I don't know what that feels like at all. <laughs> As the arrow misses you like he misses everyone else. <laughs> As he's bucking, his keen eyes saw that arrow eyes. and then locks eyes with you. And then starts to uh, then kind of run the rest of the distance uh -oh. towards you. With Slippy on his back. With uh, Slippy, I now need another acrobatics check. Yep, 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 yep. It's 18. Against my save. You're still up there. Right, I ain't letting go. Yeah, he's, he's swiping at you with his old, his old uh, claw. And for 18 plus 7. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be my number. 2d8. What? That's so much damage. Oh, that's 13 damage, sir. Oh, 13. Well, hey, that knocks me to one. You're down to one? I'm down to one. Alright, that that uh, big old owl bear just kinda looks and he's like, ah, ah. Yeah, whatever. You'll get yours, Owly. Uh Majelica, you are up. I'm going for another scroll. Yeah. Because I'm a wizard, dang it. Is. Three. Charm person. The creature is now friendly towards you. At the end yes! of <laughs> friendly owl. At the end of the spell, it knows you did that. It knows. But he's friendly now. I'm going to save against that charm. We're gonna see how well this works here. And that's a four. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you, you you're a I'm, I'm currently charmed. So uh, I turn around and then I look at you. I look at you and yeah. I say, it's okay, everything's fine. We're nice. <laughs> You're nice. We can all be friends. We're family. We need a pet. Uh, and now go kill the yeah, kill the raptor dad and the uh, I will say that it does not last forever because it is just charm person and the way that it works, it will wear off and it will know that you have done this to it. Yeah, it's gonna be mad. Let's see. I will let you do an animal handling right now. Okay, 12. Total is 12? Yes. Um, that is a five. With your animal handling right yes. now, it's see, it is connected with you. It is charmed by yes. you. I'm, I'm gonna give you an action here. I've named you Albert. 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 Go get Ben Rafa. Yeah, make him. Ah. And I guess as it remembers the tortures that it went through, it it yeah okay. Yep. It charges over there. Yeah. The other boar is kind of been pin pinning them down. We're noticing that uh, the animals aren't very fond of this this like old him. lizard. Druid. Because he's a dick. Ari, technically it is your turn next. You will be able to go before Owlbear. What would you like to do in this downtime? 
Maybe I get a ringside seat to this vicious murder of a man <laughs> who sent us on a dick trip to <laughs> say, And who knows? I actually knew this guy when he was still a villager, and Kim, he never paid rent. All right, are you just gonna kind of hold off, kind of see what happens next? Because the the owl bear does attack next. Albert. 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 Thank you. And I don't want to waste that. And I don't want to distract him from hurting Fenrafa okay. right now. Okay. All right, so you're gonna hold I'm off. Uh, the owl bear goes next. Is under this charm. Your animal handling was higher than my save throw. Uh, like like I said, we're bending rules to have a good time here. So uh, Al, uh, Albert attacks a prone Ben Rafa. Uh, it was an eight, but advantage because prone. I get a roll twice. This is a seven. Eight was the highest. It's still plus 10 is 18 against uh, Druid's defense. It's going to be about 14. That's a hit. Yeah! Let's yeah. yeah. go, Albert! You take that, Finrafa! Well, that's a nine. That's a nothing! Ooh. So that is nine uh, plus the five is 14 damage on the Druid. Like, just took, takes a big old chunk <laughs> right out of his shoulder. Right out of <laughs> I think that's what he sounds like. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't expecting it. He's being turned on his animal, so he's got like the one boar that kind of just pegging him. Nope. Uh, ah! Just kind of like pounding on him. Uh, uh, at the end of that charm session, he does take a bite out of him. And nope, that's a four. Okay, the ba the, the bear is going to lose its turn to charm. Uh, Slippy, you're up. You're still up there. You kind of see. You get a fr like a like a front row. Front row yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I like to say that my my dagger likely is probably come out of him okay. out of the. And uh, you know what? I really don't like Finn Rafa. I'm really peeved that he sent us all on this journey for nothing, just for this. I'd like to jump off, and while the charm spell is still working on our owl friend, I'd like to help him out and just. He's prone. You're gonna get backstab on this. Go for it. Let's do it. All right, 17. Yeah. That is a hit on Finn Rafa on the ground. Uh, that, roll that damage for me, sir. Take it. Four! Oh, seven. Three, seven. Uh, and then the six damage, uh, roll that d6. Four! He, uh, after that stab goes right into him, he is exhausted from the pain. He passes out from the pain. Uh, Albert sees the, this, this, this older uh, lizard kind of pass out under its paws, and it just looks at you and sees, looks back at it. <laughs> because that was what was causing it so much pain and torture, mm. and he has no more will to fight against you guys. Woo! I'm gonna say that you've made a friend here. Oh, yeah! Albert! Yeah. Uh, Albert! Give you a friend. Wait, two two friends, get a family Albert, and a friend? And a family and a friend. Albert and Bori Manilow. There you go, you guys got a weird farm now. Yeah. We, you know, we should've been naming all of our foes. We would've probably had more friends now. <laughs> so you, you see this this alchemist, or this lab, where this, this creature has been conducting these experiments on townsfolk and animals to try to create a new species. Apparently some of which still exist in nature. He's not a bright <laughs> lizard. This is more than enough proof to bring to uh, the town hall and be like, this is who's doing this. Waterdeep sees the four of you as heroes of this realm. You receive gold for your adventures. Yeah. Um, I'm a and, and, and I specifically, love gold. Hatchet. You find in your pocket, someone has left you uh, a note in your pocket. You look around, you don't know who gave it to you. You open up the scroll and it says, the first mate of a ship is in need of a captain mm. and has a crew ready for adventures and gold beyond your dreams, huh. if you care to take the job. Yar, Hatchet Hand be back in business. Uh, Majelica, yeah. your father walks up to you. <gasps> Professor Plum? And hugs you. Oh. I feel like she needed that one. Shauna, you look out in the distance, and after all these heartfelt moments, will your mother show up? No. No. <laughs> but guess what? You don't need it. You don't, don't need, need it. it. I've learned to love myself because of y'all. Slippy. And if you send me back to that goddamn desk. <laughs> <laughs> you learned nothing from any of this. You want to go back to your life of uh, crime and villainy and being the best damn rogue you could possibly be. With the least damn clothes. And I, as well as all of Waterdeep say to you, you do have the stuff of legends. <gasps> yes! Oh, I yes! said the thing! Yes! yes. <laughs> Ladies always. and gentlemen, that has been Stuff of Legends. Thank all four of you for being here. Uh, Lisa, Brandon, Shauna, Lasercorn, you guys did an amazing job. Uh, I, this was a good story. There were some it's great nice. moments here. I think we had a good time. Do you guys like how that all went? Yes, I love Fantastic. it. Fantastic, really good. good. We got some adventure in front of you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, we've been playing Dungeons and Dragons. We thank Wizards of the Coast so much for making all of this happen. Uh, we broke a lot of rules, but we're here having a good time, and that's what it's all about. I could not recommend getting a group of friends together, whether it be online or at a table together. Have an adventure, and may you have the stuff of legends. Till the next time, we'll see you later. Yeah. 
And that was Stuff of Legends. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, if you want to watch this series from the very beginning with episode one, I got that there on the left for you. So go ahead and click there. Or if you want something a little bit different, on the right, I have our animated Outbreak Undead series, which is an RPG with zombies. Go click it to watch it. Thanks for watching.